What's going on? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Another Monday in this godforsaken city. But as usual, we got some good news and bad news. A couple of you guys were asking about the pemmican and uh, some of the bars being out of stock. Uh, the machine we used to make the bars stopped working for about a week, but since we got it fixed today, uh, we should be back in stock with everything very quickly. Uh, I think the dairy and the eggs are still going to be on track for a few weeks, guys. Maybe not the dairy initially, but definitely the eggs, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, my guys have finished packing up most of the orders for Frankie's Free Range Meat this week. Uh, the only new, new, new product we have on the non-meat businesses is the bug spray, which I will also show you guys later. But all the bars are in stock, guys, besides the pemmican. We have the vanilla, the berry, the chocolate, as well as the apple nut bars. It's just pemmican we're out of. So we're going to hop in the freezer real quick. Back in stock this week, we have some ground tenderloin as well as ground pecani. Of course, the tenderloin being leaner, a bit more expensive. The pecani having a nice amount of fat, a little more affordable. What's also new is we have our oxtail nice and portioned now. So you guys can buy one pound oxtail portions instead of the whole tail. We still have the boar bacon in stock. Uh, hopefully we have the pork back in this week. The petite tender is back in stock as well, guys. You're going to get four petite tender fillets nicely packaged like this. It's about two pounds. We're just about out of all of the Wagyu fat and running low on the beef fat too. I think I showed you guys last week. This is our affordable option right now. We have ground bison for less than $7 a pound if you use the discount code. We're kind of breaking even, but as I said, I know a lot of you guys are uh, having a hard time with the inflation and meat prices right now. So this is high quality grass fed 90-10 bison. You could have for yourself or if you want something that's just as affordable as the raw pet foods for your animals. Our beef cheeks are back in stock as well. These come a bit larger size, but it's two whole cheeks per order. So we're doing okay on keeping everything in stock for the most part. Uh, the marrow bones we did just sell out of and they're kind of tricky to get. Uh, the Wagyu fats and the Wagyu tallows, I'm not sure if we're going to have those back in stock. Um, unfortunately, I still have some issues from when my business partner left. So there was this one company that we were buying like a lot of organs from, a lot of tendons, really local, grass fed, easy to get consistently every week. He basically cut ties with that vendor and I still, I, it's a nightmare sourcing the stuff we were getting from them still. And then we have uh, the Wagyu vendor, uh, which he, he was also stealing meat and product from. So I can't get my hands on it anymore now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to remedy that over these next few weeks. I will try to, if not, uh, it's whatever. It's not a high percentage of our sales, but I know a lot of you guys did really enjoy the Wagyu tallow. So in the fridge, guys, we still have a decent amount of the chicken stock and collagen broth in. Uh, probably most of it's gonna go out with the foods orders. We're gonna do a full restock on all of the cheeses this week. I just wanted to kind of move out some of the A2, A2 cheeses. So uh, we are low on those, but we're gonna have every single other cheese, which we've been out of back in stock hopefully by Thursday or Friday this is actually uh, the roast beef from last week so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss this thankfully we don't have too much left and uh, you guys are gonna get all sent fresh roast beef that was cooked today so uh, you know I mean this stuff is still good I'm gonna go home and have it on a sandwich myself but you know if people are paying for a product I want it to be as high quality as possible so I'm gonna be eating roast beef for the next week. So the eggs are pretty much a definite right now. This guy has the organic hypoallergenic corn and soy free feed that we're gonna do. I think the price point is right about where you guys are paying for other eggs and they're gonna be the healthiest, healthiest, healthiest eggs that exist. Uh, I'm actually gonna do some lab testing on them just to confirm uh, after we get them. And hopefully uh, three or four weeks from now he has enough uh, eggs that we can buy a batch and start selling it. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but I don't know how I want to sell the eggs yet. We can't put them on Frank Easter Range meat and like just have you guys buy a dozen of them because they're just going to break with the meat. I can sell them on Frank Easter Range meat separately as a package and you have to buy like a certain amount or what I could do is I could just put them on Frank Easter Range foods and you can buy whatever amount you want. I have not decided that yet. I, I think the best bet is just put the eggs on Frankie Strange Foods, sell them in packages of like six or 12 dozen so they fit nicely in a box, and then you guys can just have that. Otherwise, 
you know, shipping eggs out, they break a lot, they don't have to be refrigerated like the meat. But we'll, we'll sort it out. Again, a lot of this stuff I've been doing for the past few years, guys, I've been breaking even on mainly because I don't have uh, the infrastructure to reduce the cost of goods enough to make it a profitable business. What drives me more crazy is you know, how much money I sell on the foods and the supplement websites and it's kind of just keeping the meat business going. Uh, either way, hopefully with this new uh, farmer supplying us the eggs, he can also do uh, chicken for us so we have a slightly higher quality chicken. And then maybe, maybe uh, we're going to have someone doing sausages and hot dogs and uh, increasing just the, the freshness of a lot of our products in general. So a after I move to that, hopefully uh, the business grows a little bit over the next year or two and then I can eventually get things set up myself. But I don't know, I've kind of had enough of it at this point, I don't know. I know you guys have a lot of input like move out of New York, do this, do that. Guys, you know, you're removing the whole context of what has happened with COVID, how many businesses have just been completely obliterated how the prices of everything have gone up but you know the issue is i'm not like a business that existed that was profiting for 20 30 years and then is suddenly having a hard time with covid so uh let's show you guys what we got going on down here wi-fi shielding uh some new stuff is coming hopefully in three or four weeks i have no idea what happened to that lead powder i have no idea i gotta find that the the not so cheap solution to shielding your house is to get aluminum siding and aluminum roofing. So if it's 10,000 for the siding, 10,000 for the roofing, that's actually reasonably affordable compared to how much regular uh, EMF shielding paint is, which is why I wanted to get the lead powder because if they're selling shielding paint for six, seven, 800 a gallon, you might as well redo the siding on the house because you're gonna spend that much money just to paint the inside of the house, which is not necessary if you have aluminum siding and roofing. And then maybe we can get some uh, curtains on Wi-Fi shielding.com, but I'm not sure uh, if I can do that yet. We did, I, I'm not sure if I said it last week, we reduced the price on the sweatshirt and joggers to $135 each, which is the cheapest price online. <laughs> I think I'm breaking even on them, but whatever. I did decide to put the bug spray on Frankie's Naturals, guys. Cute little uh, logo on here. No mosquitoes allowed. Frankie's Naturals bug spray. Spring water, witch hazel, lemongrass, tea tree oil, vanilla. My cute little face on there. And then we got uh, a natural alternative to the typical chemical laden bug sprays made only using high quality ingredients. So this is on frankiesnaturals.com, guys. Shake it up before you use it. And not only can this be used like on yourself to prevent mosquitoes, this is great around the house if you have like ants or centipedes. This will keep them away from like your bedroom or food or whatever you want. They don't like these oils in them. And as with all of my products, guys, I made these because I used them myself personally. You know, I was always getting creeped out by all the centipedes and stuff around my house. So uh, I was using like peppermint oil, tea tree oil, all that type of stuff. And, and it really does a good job of keeping them away. It's natural, it's healthy. You know, you're not gonna poison yourself with uh, the regular stuff people are using. I think that's everything for this week, guys. Uh, as usual, I've had plenty of ideas that I would like to do. But uh, you know, who, who knows how long they're gonna take to uh, eventually come to fruition. FedEx is actually supposed to come by this Wednesday and give us a, a quote to try to compete with UPS. So hopefully then I can go back to UPS and say, hey, FedEx is gonna do this and get them down even more. But the bigger issue is our order volume increased about, I would say 20% over the past few months. And now I'm spending so much money on California shipping that it actually would make sense for me to get uh, a West Coast warehouse and have an inventory there because you know I, I would save so much money on shipping it's insane um i'd be basically instead of spending the money on shipping i'd be paying employees and the rent and have more reliable service but i, I can't be in two places at once guys i can't i've said it before as much as i would like to do the west coast warehouse i can't even keep one warehouse stocked up properly let alone two with the suppliers and distributors so hopefully you know, I, I can save up some money over the next year or two, uh, all these lawsuits go away, and then the, the business is in an actual reasonable position where I can get some type of meat processing operation, relocate, have something owned by myself, but I don't know. I'll probably end up in Columbia before then, or I'll have, <laughs> what did I say the other week? Look, I was thinking of getting a nice Amish farm girl, but that's just, I mean, there, there's, there's downside, there's downsides to everything, there's downsides to everything. I think the... I think the Colombian girls are probably, so, someone said, someone said in the comments, Frank, what do you think 
the, the Colombian cartel does to Italian dairy farmers. <laughs> but uh, no, and that's where my brain's at. But thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying our product. And as always, if you guys have any problems with your order, please reach out to me via email. Oh, one thing uh, I should have mentioned at the beginning is a lot of you guys are ordering without realizing this. I'm assuming you don't realize the shipping is free over $100. So some of you guys are paying like $30, $40, $50 for shipping. It doesn't make any sense. So also, if you guys want your order to definitely go out on Monday, try to place the order before Saturday because a lot of you guys are like placing orders on Sunday night and Monday and then we still get them out on Monday and Tuesday, but it's just, you know, it's just more of a guarantee. But check out frank for all of my businesses, guys. And if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.